Well, the vaccine programme can't come too soon, can it? All the infection figures, I'm afraid to say, across our region are up. Andrew Plant joins us as usual. Andrew, you haven't got any good news, have you, I'm afraid? Hi, David. Yeah, there is no real way to put the figures positively tonight, I'm afraid. They are the highest coronavirus rates we have seen so far here in the West Country, and they are likely to continue to get worse for the next 10 to 14 days until we see the effects of this latest lockdown kicking in. So it will get worse before, hopefully, beginning to improve. And Swindon is again at the top of the list. Their coronavirus rates have more than doubled in the space of seven days. So they're now at 573 cases per 100,000 people. Gloucester in second place at 521. Uh, Sedgemoor and Somerset West and Taunton are in third and fourth. They are 471 and 463. Uh, the Forest of Dean is at 421. South Gloucestershire has also more than doubled to 411. Uh, Bristol now at 408 and North Somerset at 372. So all our former tier three areas that dropped quite a lot have now gone right back up again. Uh, Bath and North East Somerset is now 334. Wiltshire at 317. Cotswold and Dorset are both at 309 cases per 100,000. Tewkesbury and Cheltenham are 306 and 271. South Somerset and Mendip are 269 and 266. And at the bottom, in 17th place, Stroud, with 258 cases of coronavirus per 100,000 people. Now, coronavirus rates were always going to get worse in winter when people tend to stay indoors, and there was possibly more uh, social contact during the month of December, but a lot of evidence pointing to this new strain of the virus being behind the rise in cases. And that is certainly the opinion of the Director of Public Health for Somerset County Council. Without a doubt, it's a different strain of the virus that's affecting, certainly from our perspective in Somerset, is, is affecting the, the, uh, the infection rates. So we saw, we saw from about mid-November, we did see quite a different pattern in our infection. Um, and uh, we were coming down quite nicely during the, the second mm -hmm. lockdown, the November one. And then we really leveled off earlier than we thought we would. Um, and without a doubt, that, that is the, uh, the result of the, the new strain of the virus, which sadly is more infectious. Now, lockdown kicked in yesterday, of course, but that doesn't mean we see an automatic drop in virus rates because there is an incubation period of the virus. So people who got infected just before lockdown will start to feel unwell a few days later. Then they'll get tested. Then they'll start to show up in the data. So we'll probably see a peak around about the 20th of January. Hopefully things will get better after that. Thank you uh, so much, Andrew. A lot of information there, as usual. Uh, I know you appreciate us bringing that to you every night.